Hey everybody, welcome back to Warhammer 40,000. This, we've been trying to get to this Nexus mission for a long time, and uh, we've had some obstacles that we've had to deal with, and they've been dealt with, okay? So now we're here. Uh, we're taking out a power squad because it seems like we absolutely should. Our current power squad is this. We've got Arcadius, the Interceptor, Eclipse, the Purgator, uh, Vakir is joining us, Sin, the Apothecary, and Ibram, the Justicar. I still feel like, uh, personally, the class I'm underutilizing the most is the Justicar, but to be fair, if he's granting Honor the Chapter a couple times, three times a mission, like, that's really strong. So I'm kind of treating him more of like a support class, Apothecary, Natural Support, Purgator is like our range damage, uh, and then our Interceptor, typically trying to be more melee focused as much as we can. Uh, we are using a new skull here that we picked up at the end of the last mission, and it is the Hailer Skull. So I should be able to throw this, and then this acts as a decoy that the enemies will shoot. It only has 10 HP, but, I mean, they're not shooting at me for a turn. I'm pretty happy with it. We've got two stratagems now, Quicksilver and Gate of Infinity. So we can all teleport to any visible location. That will be cool. But, uh, yeah, let's begin. That's neat. The little, uh, the loading screen art that they have is all pretty well made. I should actually use some of those for the thumbnails. The craft world has been devastated by Nurgle. Xeno Archaeotech defeats my scanners. Is it stable? For now. It serves the Plague God and will not crumble until his purpose is fulfilled. Locate the center of the craft world. Yes, Commander. The foe is close. Let the hunt continue. Oh yeah, they are close. Your orders. Uh, somebody in the comments said that it's 18 tiles away or something to activate. I was like, someone did the math. Very nice. What is this? Is this a gun? Is this a gun that they can get on to and shoot me? Yes, Commander. That's what it looks like. What is it? That's what it I looks like. Fly. I can probably get everybody up to this little middle section here. And then activate them. And get our actions back. As you Standing ready. It will be nice, done. nice, oh, nice. Oh, hello. You're new. Oh, that's a tanky group, man. Is, no, wait. Is that the unit that we saw at the end of the last mission? The Plague Bearer. Blade of Affliction. Zero damage, but a random effect. It can mutate. Gain additional random mutation. Currently has two armor. It's got seeds. It can parry 50% chance when hit by melee. Okay. Okay. Is that right? Now, for some reason, it's a corrupted turret. Cleanse the turret of corruption so it will revert to standard behavior and target the enemy instead. Oh. Okay, but I have to get in there with range. <laughs> Well, uh, let's do it. So it's an auto turret, essentially. Now I'm wondering if, like, is this worth it? It's, uh, it, there's just so much armor, you know? That's the thing for me. I think maybe before I went in there all I overzealous, I should have looked at my, my purgator. 
options here. Yes, sir. Onslaught can hit three. It's not bad. We could even try her uh, frenzy as well. At your service. I think I'll save the teleport At strike here, to be honest. We'll try frenzy out. Okay, that dude resisted. Fine, he can be the target. <laughs> hmm. They're all going to get armor back, which is really rough. This guy will not. I'll do this because I get more damage. Taste my fury. If I can get the seeds, I, I'll be happy with it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go super out of my way. Taking position. I'll share the love a little bit here. Curious to see what this gun's gonna do. Okay. Yeah, baby. Weak. Pain is beneath me. Friendly fire. I think that's was that one of my seeds though? Okay, that was one of my seeds. What? Organic, and these guys are demonic. Hey, your order. Uh, we could use astral to get the seed. This is the only ranged attack that counts as this because of precision targeting. I know it's caused some confusion. For me and for a lot of people uh, commenting. But we've got it on lockdown now. Seed excised. We do have it. Figured out. Yes. Okay, let's use some armor break here. Opening fire. Yes, yes. Resist. With pleasure. And your willpower is going to be important. But let's use this. Pick up this kill. Firing on target. Heretic slain. Uh, Purgator. How much is left on this dude down here? Five. Oh, please don't be out of ammo. Oh! <laughs> Your orders? Uh, classic. Standing ready. Absolutely classic. Unleash me. How much what am I losing here? Medium range? Then we could cybolt this to kill. And then our Justicar. He's got two shots. 
We'll stick with ranged here because uh, this guy's got the um, the auto chance. I detect great nests of activity rising across the craft world. I urge haste. We will not be stopped. Not when we're so close. All right, everyone's reloaded. Can I take you with me? That would be great. I am here to serve. Yes, come on. Looks like oh, look at that. There's another one there. What and there's a big will. chasm as well. Yes, sir. Tens of thousands of Eldar died here. Their blood and torment now fertilize the bloom. Inquisitor, focus. Your brain grows tiresome. I know why I'm here. At once. I wish they would just quit bickering. We're all on the same team. Last I checked, anyway. Inquisitor, catch up. Oh, really? That's bad. My is Minus AP ready. is bad. Is that another one? Yeah, it is. There's these turrets everywhere. Okay, we're close. The corruption thickens. I actually didn't think we would track. trigger there. Well, now we saw that unit in the last mission. Looks like it's capable of some crazy stuff. Oh, and it's got a seed and a billion armor. When it showed up last time, I don't know, maybe the Overwatches removed the armor? I'm thinking that's what happened. But he's got some long... He's got some strong uh, issues here. He has access to cover shot. He's got multi-melta, range 7. So that, he's a little far away. But cover shot here, 14, he can just destroy our cover. Which is... What worry. is it? And now these guys are pretty far. I honestly didn't think that we would figure that. Mechanical, these guys are organic. Okay, if I can get to that though, that would be great. I think we'll just take this cover for now. That I'm concentrating. I don't think he can blow the cover of the ground what away. Is your will? I would think not anyway. Yes, come on. Not sure this adds a ton of value. Your orders? This better be worth it. We could teleport her. If I go here, I could dominate that unit. Or maybe even frenzy them all. I'm not sure how that's going to look, but... I'm trying to teleport to a spot where I won't have to move after. And still have a... Uh, a visual. I don't think I'm going to get that.
Okay. So I could I could frenzy both of these. As long as my center is before the edge. I actually don't think that's too bad. Because then they can both Those hit that big guy. And or each other, I guess. Fury. And I'll just put some little chip damage in there. I feel like this guy is definitely going to blow our cover here. But because those guys are crazed, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Alright. And then Sin. Just run. Good focus fire, guys. Excellent job. Oof. Okay. Phase two of the plan is to get to this thing. Now, the problem with that yes. is obvious. Your orders. Close. I can feel it. Let's activate this one. Advancing. I'm assuming the center of the crap. Oh yeah. Okay. It's definitely. <laughs> it's definitely back there. Mm -hmm. Huh. What's the way we're gonna do this? I'll astral him. Oh, that works out nice. We get the seed and disabling the, the range. I've claimed a seed. Your command. Yeah. It's funny, this guy's actually kind of protected his buddy here. Because I can't go in there without triggering this. Which I really don't want to do. If I come down here, I'll have two shots at three. Let's play it cool. If I Cybolt, we get the, the bleed. But... Even that doesn't kill him next turn. We bring death. He would have had I three health left, so. Arms. Standing ready. Your command. Ideally, we use her to teleport. Oh, hold on. Oh no! I didn't want to. I didn't want to stay there. That's ah, fine. I don't think that big enemy has targeted attacks. Does he? Seems to be all AoE. Yeah, so he's got the, the missile launcher for cover shot, and then this one at range 7. I feel like we're pretty far away from that currently. This better be worth it. See, now, she could teleport here. Hold on a sec. This, come on. How do we want to play this? You know, I think we might just take cover. Advancing. We have two turrets firing. 
I know we've got our stratagems and stuff too. I haven't forgot about those this time. Let's just kind of bolster here. We've got two turrets on that side that we can use. Um, maybe we just use some armor break. Are you sure, Commander? Start wearing this down. Uh, this thing looks like it can't be stunned. Is that what I'm seeing? No stun meter. I think so. All right. Nice blasty. That'll do. Oh, deleted. <laughs> okay, then. Well. Well, well, well. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay. The Emperor lights our path. Yes. I am here to show service. Where's my astral? Can you astral from here? Not quite. It will be done. <sighs> Out of ammo. I've got but two actions left, so we're fine. Um. So he was showing seeds. Break four armor. Make it so he cannot move. I think we'll just disable his ranged weapon. Huh. So maybe his seeds are only retrieved. By... Melee crits? I remember someone saying something about mechanical units and their seeds being a little different. So maybe that's what's happening there. I'm concentrating. Hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to save as many of our consumables as we can. Yes, Commander. What is it? Okay, so this would actually be missing. I was already planning that. Let's do that. And we'll go for more armor break. Are our arms. All right. Out of He's becoming more manageable. Good tuck in there. Just Standing such an awkward situation now. Let's put some pressure on from back here. This guy's almost stunned, actually. The problem here with him is that we have to send somebody into this fog, which I don't really want to do. Hey. 
curious to know if we can stun on a on an Overwatch. I'm gonna set this and figure that out. We're burning there. Let's hobble. Just a little bit of control. And I could pop, like, the tiniest amount of damage in here. A mosquito bite, if you will. I can maybe actually... Wait, what is happening here? Oh, did I misread his health bar? Bro, why did I think his health bar was so huge? I think I misread that. Let's get bleed going here. He's a mechanical unit that bleeds. I believe it. Okay, so he's stunned. <laughs> and he's up. There you go. Oof. The phone units. All right. I'm here to serve. I'm busy. I understand that. I'm going to go from here just because if that thing explodes, I don't really want any part of it. So I'm not sure we got those seeds. Okay, who needs the AP or the willpower here? I'm thinking our Purgator would benefit. Hold on. It will be done. Alrighty. We have purified this place. Your orders? This is hampering me big time yeah. over there. What is it? As instructed. Uh, we do need a bit of a heal going on. At your service. What is your will? Unleash me. Yes, Commander. What is your will? I am here to serve. I'm busy. I will comply. I can come over here and get into a, a healable spot yes, on. once this stuff goes away. Come on. Okay, we're close. Hmm. A teleport in the apothecary would sure be nice. Or I suppose if we didn't have Terminator armor, we could we could Stand jump that, but. At your service. Oh my god. Do I waste another turn here? Yeah. Your orders? We strive.
Is it overkill? Yes. Am I fine with it? Absolutely. As you command. What is your will? Moving now. Praise the Emperor swiftly. What? I think we could use the Inquisitor to trigger this. If I must. There we go. Okay, so same comp as the beginning group. There's another gun there. It's emanating from behind that door. Cover me while I release its wards. Okay. The enemy has arrived. Auto resurrect. Move her to the door. Yeah, wouldn't that be great, eh? That'd be super cool. Okay, so we're gonna use her. Uh, oh, she doesn't have a melee weapon. I'm embarrassed. We'll probably try a crazed thing here. Yes, sir. There's another turret on the other side too. I'm not gonna be able to get both. Yes. Let's frenzy. Rise in frenzy. We got three of them. Pretty happy with that. Yes, yes. I just don't want to stay exposed to this thing because we saw it. it can put out some pretty solid damage. But it seems like I'm not able to shoot it. I am with you. Let's go onslaught. That'll deal with the armor for this turn. And then maybe when they hit each other, it'll be a little bit more value. I think this one in the back is the one that's not crazed. If I'm not mistaken. We'll take that. Keep going, keep whacking. Oh, beautiful. Might lose a seed opportunity there, but. Oh, that's the one who's not crazy. Oh yeah, no, that's the same guy. Bro! That was ugly. Now, I think he also had the resurrection mutation. Right? Yeah, he resurrects. Well, how does that... Yeah. How does that work? Unleash me. I am here to serve. My blade is ever ready. Seeking the tainted. The blade god protects. What? Huh. He got the cancel, I think. Yeah. No match for the Emperor's okay, children. so he's not resurrecting, which is good. I'm not sure why, but that's fine. Who? What is your will? We'll do another heal. Oh. 
gratitude. Yes, Commander. I'm a little worried about my will points, not gonna lie. I do come on. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna save the last one. Would have been nice to crit there. Just saying. I got two willpower left there. My blade is yours. Power. You crit one of these? Anyone? That would be great. Your orders? Cure might be able to do it. Yes, Commander. Oh, there's still this guy. Oh, I totally lost track of him. Frick! Shoot a target at five. Why can't I shoot this target? Oh, I'm blocked. If I must. All right. Please crit. No dice. The turrets might be able to clean these up. I'm not sure we're going to have enough. Oh, there's also turrets at the top of the stairs I'm seeing. Okay, we're close. So when they're disrupted, that cancels your autos. Is definitely annoying. I mean, he's going to be stunned either way. Got the execute actions. Love it, love I'm it, busy. love it. You come on. I'm hoping I think we have enough here. That's gonna take the armor, and then next we can get the kill. And he'll get uh, willpower from it. Oh, love that. The Falchion's crit. Another foul seed claimed. Enemies destroyed. At once. Seeds for all. What is your will? Unleash me, standing ready. Hey.
Taking position. We'll go take that. I'm not sure this thing will be of use to us. Yes, yes. And before we step on the door, we'll move everybody in. Because like last mission, I... Who knows, man? We'll be walking into a giant death trap. So far, so good. Little lower on the willpower than I'd like. We still have our two stratagems, at least. This better be worth it. Yes, Commander? As instructed. I'm one tile short. Your orders. I wonder. I have one more heal. Yes, sir. Look at that. Just like new. Oh, for some reason I thought that was going to clear plagued. <laughs> Great. Yes? I am here to serve. Advancing. It would be really lovely if that turret that we have would come in handy here, but... What? Shiva. Shiva. Oh, uh, excuse me? Shiva. Inquisitor, quickly. Oh, okay. Defender while she opens the door. Defender from what? Oh, we probably could have just sent her there. All right. Delta trained and ready. Set you on the door, I guess. Okay, that's we're getting seriously screwed on those curses. The way is open. Knights, with me. It is time to unearth the secrets of this plague. A foul crash. Ooh, boy. Triple panel door. Whoa. <laughs> Am I fighting that? Tell me I'm not fighting that. The heart of a craft world. The avatar of Kane's strength has faded, but it remains untouched by the contagion. Inquisitor, do not let your fascination keep you from the objective. Be vigilant. The soul of the Eldar avatar may have yet survived. Those are mere echoes of its once mighty spirit purifier. This thing has not stirred in millennia. Oh, it's stirring. Inquisitor. Report. This is it. The heart of the Nexus. An Eldari infinity circuit. Where the souls of their dead reside. I can sense other bloom seeds below. But they feel... They suckle on the remaining power of the craft world, germinating here in great demonic vessels. A slaughtered craft world used as a demon's nursery. This blasphemy should be destroyed at once. No, we know nothing of the plague's origin. This may be our only chance to learn its secrets before it matures into something far worse. Warning. Corrupted Xeno Archaeotech is highly unpredictable. The path before us is plain, Inquisitor. Brothers, prepare to fire. <laughs> oh boy. You are here on my authority, Knight. Stand down. I must first commune with this Nexus. I 
each demonic vessel fosters a great seed. A Valerian strain? Inquisitor! Once there were five, but one has already sprouted. Carrying the plague we've fought so far, the rest are waiting. Do you feel it? The embrace of the great Corruptor. This entity yet lives. Five Reapers. Five Harvesters of the Grandfather's Crop. Five charred gates in a putrid orchard fed on the light of a trillion souls. Then the Morbus will come. Inquisitor, I sense a powerful concentration of warp energy below. The demonic vessels are responding to our presence. Are they maturing somehow? The machine spirits recoil. Our Auspex readings are disrupted. Inquisitor, this is madness. You must withdraw. Agreed. Now. No, I need a sample. Just a sample. See, she's like. Have you taken leave of your senses? Brothers, defend the Inquisitor. Oh my god. I don't know, man. She seems to have a little bit too close of a connection with these seeds. Okay. Eight turns. She must survive. They all have seeds, but that is not the priority. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's power? good to know. At your service. Okay, everyone's got max willpower again. I wonder what other stuff would have gotten... Standing ready. ...refilled. Your command. I am here to serve. Okay. Yes, command. I am here to serve. Purgator is going to be a clutch here, for sure. Now, are these all the exact same? Hazard spray. Overwatch. Okay, so hold on. This guy is a Plague Marine. This guy's also a Plague Marine, but he's got Hazard Spray. Plague Belcher and Plague Knife. So if I, if I shoot off his Plague Belcher, he can't put that stuff down. Uh, and he'll just use, he'll run at us with the knife. This dude has the knife and the bolt gun 10 range for 5 damage I'm actually more worried about that I think bolt gun and bolt gun yeah alright unleash me your orders also good to know that we can't use Vakir here. But, like, obviously there's going to be more than four. So what's going on? Wonder if I should send our Justicar in and just go ham. Crit something, right? He's got two armor. He's got 22 health. This will give bleed as well. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. This is coming with me. Advancing. We'll look to apply hobbled here to at least a few of them. We can decide who okay. next. Your command. At once. Uh, Purgator, we're gonna astral aim. You will fall. Disable that weapon. As you command. Boom seed excised. Oh, and we got the bloom, yeah. 
cool. I'm thinking let's put the extra damage here too. Keep going. It's down to two. So Interceptor could come here, get that kill shot, and then... I don't think I'm going to be able to hammer hand to disable that as well, but... Moving out. Uh, hold on. If I were to teleport right now... Huh. Maybe I should go in for this. As you come on. Yeah, I'm going to. I've claimed a seed. Now, I might not even need to go hobbled here. We're going to take this and we'll get that kill up top. Okay. So we got one bolt gun guy there. Who's actually retreating a bit. I can deal with that. Oh yeah, they're just gonna be running at us, hey? You must withdraw immediately, Inquisitor. Is a brief skirmish too taxing for the Emperor's most elite? <laughs> you mockers now that heed this. If any of my brothers are made to suffer for your delays, answer to me for it. We'll kill these with him so he gets the willpower out of it. We slay the darkness. Gonna need to teleport back here. With a Let's get rid of your weapon. Another foul seed claimed. Should we hit the warp now? I think we'll just take a couple shots here. Yes, sir. Oh, maybe that... Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine, because we're going to build up that stun. The foe bleeds. We still have... Reactions here. This guy is at seven. Or sorry. He's at ten. Let's actually go in for the melee. And then if he does run. We've got double attacks there. Oh, he did run. We didn't have enough to kill him. Auto resurrect. And auto resurrect. What the frick? All of your knights have their resistance set to 0% for 5 turns? What? 
the Be hell? Wary, brothers. That is a demon prince of no. <laughs> okay. Ah, yes. Call your silver slaves. That's a Come problem. Turn his light. What? He's just throwing our dudes wherever he wants? Bro. <sighs> okay. Allies targeted by range attacks from or into this cloud take minus two. Teleports a knight. <laughs> okay. Fine. Target a knight in range 14 to afflict Cursed Bond. Afflicted knight deals or suffers three damage when Kadex is dealt damage. Set two teleport beacons for two turns. Reinforcements arrive at the end of the enemy turn. Legion never dies. Uh, target an area for two damage and hobbled. And he can move up to range 10. Four damage melee attack. Uh, four damage psychic attack, afflicting blinding and armor pierce. And he's got an auto. When attacked, cancels it and teleports to a random location, summoning two false reflections of himself. He can only do this once per turn, but what the frick? Uh, like, do I bother targeting this guy? What is your, your orders? What is your whip? Could I astral him? The answer is yes, I could. I answer. We have that Hailer skull. We also have the stratagems. Creates reflections when hit. I'm gonna see what happens. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Disable Cloud of Flies. Disable Cursed Bond. That's where he can target one of us and we take damage. Empowered Leap or Malign Teleportation. I think this is the one that moves our knights around. But Cursed Bond is bad. Because whenever we attack him, he would... Once he casts that, everyone's gonna... Or the person that he's bonded with is gonna take damage. If we can crit off a couple of abilities, that's a start. Alright, so there's... There's his little... Sanctify my rounds. Reflections, I guess. Can't use Curse's Bond. Okay. Malign Teleportation. Empowered Leap. Blast Attack and Knockback. And yeah, that could also be a bit of a problem, eh? Reloaded. Let's get a reload here. Um, we have so many turns to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So, here... We're gonna go melee. And then we can execute. And everyone's going to get some actions. Ignore the wounds. I wonder if there's a reason you would never... There, a reason that you wouldn't pick... Uh, is there, I, I wonder if there's a reason you wouldn't pick to execute ever. I wish I could just jump down there. But I don't need to. I can take two shots here. Get his stun meter down to one, and then our Justicar can come over. Two attacks here. Get another action back. Match for the Emperor's chosen. Okay, so he's got three still. These guys are both melee. Yes, come on. 
I have five attacks here. So if I force strike, I deal six. He's currently got, um, what is it? 15. So if we do regular attacks at four, it's going to take four attacks, or sorry, uh, four times four is 16. Yeah. So it would take four attacks to kill him. Or I could do one force strike. Takes him to nine. And then... Huh. Yeah. We'll do one of these. I must meditate. And if we get lucky in one crit, then, I mean, that would be cool. Alright. So now we'll just... Oh, he doesn't have the willpower anyways. Forget that calculation. Enemy down. Okay, he's dead. Now, we don't know which... Oh, wait a sec. Yeah, we don't know which one's the reflection. So I kind of just have to ignore it. It will be done. Use the AP that he got, or the willpower My that he got back there. Fails me. Standing ready. I feel like shooting into these is, is probably a waste, unless... Unless the reflections disappear when you shoot them. Hmm. I wonder if there's a trick. Unleash me. Reload the apothecary. I come here for four damage. Two shots for four damage. Or I come in here to get one shot at four damage. Or I come up here. And we go melee. And then our reaction shots kill him. Oh, he got the cancel, bro. Got the cancel. Hey, I'm very curious to see. This will do one damage. I want to see if reflections. Aha. Reflections do get cleared. Okay. So if we have enough to mess around, we can look to clear a reflection. Fair enough. Um, fair enough. At your service. But we're not going to necessarily have that. Yes, come on. Let's see if we can get this kill here. That's going to be my last AP. So, it's not going to be enough to kill. I'm just wondering if I should use one of these. I don't know how aggressively they're going to target her, either. Alright, well, I'm gonna save it. This guy may just attack our dudes, and that's fine. We 
like an onslaught that group. Whoa. We are the oh, nice. Okay, good. Oh, there's his teleport. Into the hobbles. <laughs> I actually think that's kind of cool. <laughs> that is kind of cool. I am cold. Cadence Incarion. Son of the seventh blight. The beast of Systemonius. Oh, the beast of Systemonius. I know him. Father's most majestic gift. The bloom. Brothers, destroy this putrid prince. Oh, how thrilling to entertain such esteemed guests from the following titans. The grandfather will be so pleased. What is this thing? Destroy the resurrection emblem. Is that... What the hell's a resurrection emblem? Okay. Well, it's destroyed. Um, I think we're gonna come in here and crit something else off. Um, I feel like he's immune to all afflictions. Hmm. He is not immune to bleeding. Now, I don't know if this is going to get applied. That's the thing. But we will be able to crit something off. I'm going to warp charge it. We'll see if the bleed gets applied or not. But the more I can, like, remove some of his abilities, that would be great. This only disables it for one turn. Maybe for now we use Empowered Leap. The Cloud of Flies would be good, too. Oh, the bleed did apply. Now, he, he landed there first. Huh. Okay. Yes, Commander. Okay, okay, okay. Here. I am here to serve. See, I think what the trick might be... Uh, once we get him low enough, we need to then get rid of the reflections and then go all in on his uh, abilities. Okay, I need to reload here. And then we go all in because he'll be a bit lower and we have to. We still have to take two shots to clear those things, but we're going to go Psychic Onslaught. Blessed are our arms. Ammo depleted. Okay, he's down to nine. Standing ready. Down. The enemy is wounded. Hmm. I strike true. Oh, that cancel is so annoying. It's true. He wasn't my best. Let's do a servo skull here. Okay, the servo skull purifies. That's where my my confusion was coming from. Okay, that makes them pretty strong. I do more damage with the gun. 
Could even cybolt it. Okay. We still have our stratagems. Bleeding is great, and he so he's taking that dam. Okay, that's fine. He's taking that damage without us having to do anything. So very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. There. At your service. You need some willpower back. Is this? Is that a group coming in there? Vengeance. I think so. So to the unworthy. Your command. As ordered. Okay, we're gonna heal. Gratitude. Praise the Emperor. Your orders. Your do I command. have I do have enough for another uh astral aim? Oh, wait a sec. What are these? Is that the... What is your will? Hold on. She can't reach. Close the Legion Gate. Oh, okay. The Legion Gates are the ability that he has that brings in those reinforcements. So, interesting. Okay. So you can actually cancel that. I will definitely do that here. Oh, neat. Okay. And then we're going to use... Oh, I'm out of ammo. Kill me. Standing ready. Okay. I'm going to give two AP here. Here. So you can reload. Cloud of flies. I don't want to speak too soon, but like, I do feel like the plan is working currently. If we get lucky and this one's not the reflection, how nice would that be? Oh! It's not the reflection! Oh, <laughs> really? Really, 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 really. Your orders? I wish I could get over there and, and get rid of that. What if. I did this. Teleport them here. Gates closed. Hell yeah. At your service. Hell yeah. I am Kate. Your orders? Your orders. My blade is ever ready. Hell yeah. Okay, let's spread these guys out a bit, because I don't want to be surprised. Advancing. Now, downside is... <laughs> we've left the Inquisitor to fend for herself, so we do have to run back in there. We have grenades and stuff. Hobble literally doesn't do anything. Enemy 
reinforcements. Oh, Run them down. oh, that's not great. Can they overwatch on us here? Okay. Interceptors need gonna need to get down there for sure. I do wonder if we kill this thing. Huh. This come if that would end everything. Because the other option is uh for this turn. I could use our purgator. To throw the Hailer Skull. I'm gonna look here. Hold on, how much ammo do I have? Oh, okay, so I have enough for Astral Aim. That's good. Okay, so for a second, I need to check how this would work. I'm not quite close enough. Now, she does have 18 with two armor. Run. Praise the Emperor. Is it our Justicar that has bleed? Yeah. So, I think if we take that bleed shot again, that's really good. So we're not going to go for the Disable. He only has the one where he's teleporting people around anyway, so I feel like I'm not going to worry about that too much. My focus fails me. Okay. I am here. No, come on. They're enraged for one turn. Yes, sir. I just hope this gives me the range. Uh, I don't think I'm hitting that unit. Nope. Okay. Well, I could target it here. Affliction resisted too. Now I, I don't know if that means he's the actual guy or not. The others didn't disappear. Oh, that was free too. Oh, okay, okay. So that's actually good news. We can crit here. It's gonna take me down to ow. Just bump my elbow. <laughs> it's gonna take me down to one willpower. But I don't have too much else that I really need to disable. Crazed. There we go. That's actually great. Gives me the same effect. Maybe even better. Because it's allies and not that skull, you know? Standing ready. In an instant, my will is spent. Okay. If I knock this guy back to me, then I could kind of maybe take his. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Mind you, that guy being crazed, I might want to keep him around. Yes, come on. 
I'm just hoping we hold out for these two turns and that's it, you know? Foe wounded. Unleash me. Got our apothecary here. Probably hobble these two. Or totally immobilize them. For an, one extra willpower. Yeah. And then... Can I hit any of these guys? I mean, from back here, yes. But even though they're immobilized, I don't want to be... Out in the open. Let's get her down here. Oh, beautiful. Praised again. Okay. Love that. I love it. It cuts their heads off. So is that the real one there in the middle? What? Uh... Hello? All enemies heal 50% their max HP. Commander. Thousands of rope signatures have been detected. What are you saying? It says randomly attack their allies, so I guess it just means that that's not guaranteed. <laughs> what is what that? Will? think doing another immobilize up here okay that guy resisted what is your will huh I am here to serve Well, we're going to take a shot here. He's got our strongest gun. I am his crit will. would be nice. As you command. Now, can we get others that are within his this range? Is, uh, uh, um... Please be real. Oh, we get a willpower back from that, though. Don't you know? What is your will? Hmm. At your service. That really sucks. Ah! Have to attack this thing. Now, even if he's crazed, he doesn't have a uh, weapon to hit anything, but at least he's not hitting me. <laughs> That's a win. Just a car. We're going to have to go around this.
He can jump down there. I guess maybe if you're out of the way, you could jump. He could jump down there. As ordered, I am here to serve. Can that work? Yes. Nice. Underneath the cone. As long as I'm not hitting her. Get away from her! God, this is... This is, this feels like Chosen Chamber, <laughs> you know? I could stun him. I could stun him, but then he's just going to get up next turn, right? So strategically, I think I should just wait. Let me Aegis Shield here. We can use we can use that to our advantage next turn, hopefully. Now wait just a moment. Is is that Carver the Kier? That's the one. <laughs> My dear, you are the there we go. That's better. Do I know you, demon? They come to their doom. I really hope if, if we kill that thing, or if the timer hits, or or have uh, it. nearly have it. Maybe it's presence overwhelms either or. Our I cannot obtain a teleportation lock. What the hell does that mean, dude? Seven. Do I have You're any ready? way of dealing seven? My blade is yours. Your command. Okay. We're going to set up the extra AP here. Mercy in death. Okay. This one is the one that's crazed in the back there. I would get Oh, this could this could be decent here. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go uh here to get the extra willpower. No demon shall avoid its fate. Oh, yeah, but I'm short on AP. Yeah, I can't get there. My bad. I could teleport next to him. That doesn't Stand seem that ready. fun. Need two willpower for this. I don't see us being able to gain that back. I'm going to come in as close as I can get. I'll, put, I'll go here so I get five damage. Moving now. Okay, he's at three. Worsted ammunition depleted. He's at three. What is your will? I mean, it's possible this works. Yes, Give me the visual there. Come on, be the right one, buddy. 
be it. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> I got very excited. Okay, hold on. Come on, be it, be it. You gotta be kidding me. I can get it here, but I'm gonna be one damage short. Okay, so I don't get willpower from killing those. It looked like we did last time. Wait, can I reach that? Wait, how? Yes, There's got to be a way. Guys, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Oh, that hurts me. That's so unlucky. 66% <laughs> chance to get at least one of those right. Oh. This guy's already crazed, but I think because there's no other enemies around, that's going to be a problem. Oh, wait. I have a range attack. What am I thinking? I don't have the range. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, Commander. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can get him down to one. Yeah. There's a chance this square maybe gives me what I need. It will be done. A square that he was on, maybe, gets me the range with our Justicar. I must meditate. Oh, still, look at... It's just... Painful. Painful. I don't have any, like, ways to grant extra actions or... Or anything. Alright, well... It's what I got, so it's what I'll use. I don't have willpower for Cybolt. I mean, there's a 25% chance that we bleed him. Oh! I must be on. The math, it, it, it's all worked out. The math has all worked out. That is great news. Come on, baby. What's gonna happen here? We have a lot of HP to play with. He's gonna die, isn't he? Because he's gonna bleed. Hold your ground! Dang. Now, the question is. The torment. What foulness do I find here? I shall deliver his to Grandmaster. Commander, some other power emerges from the warp. No. Are you kidding me? We still have to keep fighting all this? There's no way. There's no way. Grey Knights rally. Your chapter lord fights with us. What? We are the uh, Oh my god, we're not done? This. Oh wait. The warp's tides are thick with the same corruption ravaging this sector. A burst of its foul energy drew me here from the other side of the veil. I can see no end to this foul bloom. But I've learned the truth, my lord. Nurgle means to spread this vile pox through five demonic reapers, each sowing seeds of this vile harvest. This craft world was their fetid spawning ground. I commend your discovery, but the arch enemy is alerted to your presence. You cannot remain. I task you, Karthavakir, to end this bloom's corruption. 
Cut loose this rot before it spreads to the wider Imperium. As you command, Supreme Grandmaster. <laughs> What the hell is that? I will clear this warp's interference so that you may return to your ship. Now go, in the Emperor's name. Teleportation lock acquired. Get us For out! The okay. All right, we won. Okay, so what's the purpose of those things coming at the end? What I'm thinking is either, either uh, if that timer goes down, final reinforcements come in, but and then you still have to focus down the big guy, but because they happened at the same time, especially with the bleed, we may have complicated things there. Um, and I, I don't know if killing the guy before the timer goes down ends it either, so still some things up for learning there in the future but very successful mission pretty happy with the way that went down it's good to know that in the second room we got all of our willpower back i wish it would explain that to me because i mean i did use it pretty aggressively in that first half but now i can definitely not hold back okay that was uh great Seeds collected 20, 5 requisition, minus corruption, tier 2 terminator armor. I got 10 requisition here. Bakir looking awesome. I'd marry her. Okay. The Hell Scorcher. 5 damage. It's a flame gun. Honestly, not sure how I feel about those guns. Purgator and Purifier only. Demon Hammer. Activate to add one stun, and then there's another upgrade there, too. I can see these stuns becoming really important later. And this is a bit confusing. It looks like we have to get an upgrade for this and then upgrade to this later. But having the knockback is cool. Backwards from current position, let's push back. Okay, I don't know. Maybe that's just... Okay, maybe all this is saying is this slot can be taken by this. That must be it. Resilience and faith. This knight would get plus two armor. Cool. 15% focus, increasing its chance to trigger autos and afflictions. Okay. Okay. Let's take that. Enhance auto senses. This knight gains three crit damage for their ranged attacks. That would be great for uh, for our uh, purgator. Can, can purgator wear this though? Oh no! Yeah, this is um, yeah, this is. Excuse me, this is war gear. I'm so excited. I'm like hiccuping and oh, this just is like take a breath. Okay, I'm down to six requisitions, but. Still, I think that's pretty good, and these are two pretty valuable pieces of gear. Um, that focus takes up our 50% autos to 65, which is really nice. We saw how many times the enemy's 50% triggered. Right now, because of those falchions that I'm running, um, the autos are non-existent because we're trading that for crit chances, but maybe now we trade into something that's going to have better autos. 
And that still takes us into the next report with six. So I feel like I feel like that went really well. Some heavy wound times there, but again, like not across the board. Pretty pretty happy with that. Okay. Our purgator. So I think we now focus in on psychic onslaught. Ooh, look at that. 50% chance to reload when they get to zero. Dang. So we take a bigger area. And do we try to get the 50% reload? Or do I take the guaranteed extra damage? Let's take the reload. All right. Sin. I think we go willpower. And we were talking about maybe going up into the servo skulls. Oh, look at that. When equipped in a war gear slot, this knight's biomancy abilities target any range. Huh. Okay, silly question. How do I know what a biomancy ability is? Biomancy ability. Is that another skill in here that I don't have yet, maybe? Let's, yeah, I have to imagine that that is what it means. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the willpower and the extra equipment slot. And maybe I'll learn about that later. Okay. Just a car. Hammer hand gets an extra crit damage is decent. Onto the chapter here, we could grab. We get an extra equipment slot, and we have that warp charge for onto the chapter. We didn't use it a lot in that one. And I have no other, like, willpower gains here either. So it gets pretty costly, but it's also very strong. I mean. Okay. Let's take the warp charge, and we'll take the equipment slot. Or will we? This can add stun to everyone. It's immune to autos. It applies knockback. That's actually kind of cool. You know what? Let's take that instead. All right. Good job, everyone. Level 6 Eclipse. Level 6 on Ibram. 5 on Sin. 5 on Arcadius. And now, because... We are hopefully going into quote-unquote normal missions. I could bring some of our lower ranks out and get them leveled up as well. The Astropathic Choir's scream. The Inquisitor's interference has kindled this bloom causing it to spread with a virulence previously unseen. Our astropaths have augured entirely new strains taking root, different from the putrid phage we've seen before. Objection. We are not equipped for a protracted campaign. I have already requisitioned further support from Grandmaster Kai. In the meantime, we are the only force in the region capable of contending with this threat. As for our companion, Inquisitor Vakia is meditating within the Libris. Hiding, more like. Perhaps you would both benefit from a moment in the contemplation <laughs> chamber. If you would give me okay. leave, Commander, I would attend to our Inquisitor personally. Go for it.
Sort out your differences. The bloom has infect. Oh, jeez. The bloom has infected new corners of the sector. I've expanded the star map accordingly. Oh my god. What the frick? I can't reach all that stuff. <laughs> I need prognosticars and I need ship speed. And I need to repair my ship. I need a lot of things. Commander, Dominus, Purifier. Ah, the things I've learned. Order is eroding, Inquisitor, yet you sound ecstatic. You misread me, Knight. What we did was necessary. I am simply eager to move forward. Forward? We face the destruction of this sector. That conclusion is uncertain. Yes, exactly. Listen to the venerable tech priest. We can't waste time lamenting a few minor setbacks. Setbacks? Do you have any idea what your- What our intrusion did was awaken the Bloom's germinating seeds. While this may have had the side effect of activating new strains of the Bloom, we have disrupted the Plague God's plans. Pure speculation. You exalt your carelessness as a triumph. This conversation vector is unproductive. I will speak more directly then for the warriors among us. Your Grandmaster Kai had it right in one respect. The Bloom is quite similar to other plagues of Nurgle we've encountered. What is unique is the vector through which it spreads. And that is? Reapers, powerful demons, incubated within the heart of that craft world. Each possesses a unique seed of immeasurable foulness, a prime seed which carries a unique strain of the virus. And they were talking about five the of them? The energy required to properly birth such demonic force into our space would be massive, but our, no, my intervention disturbed them before they were fully mature. That leaves them vulnerable. How can you be so certain? When I touched the infinity circuit, its avatar stirred for a moment, sharing a crucial insight. These Reapers can travel the arcane networks of the Aldari to spread this plague to different solar systems. We have already seen the results. Once a Reaper seeds a planet, the bloom festers and grows until our prognosticars detect its presence, often too late for us to effectively intervene. Contention. Bloom activity appears localized. Why would they not spread to all corners of the galaxy? You make an excellent point, Dominus. I do not believe spreading this virus is the final goal. The Avatar spoke of the Morbus, an event of apocalyptic implications. Five Reapers to open five charred gates. Then the Morbus will come. And you would have us trust this Xenos delusion. The Avatar was weak but uncorrupted. Revenge is a motive crossing all genetic boundaries. You have a point. I suppose you also have a plan. God, let's hope so. Yes. Destroy the five Reapers. Oh, easy. Without them, the bloom cannot spread. Challenge. The Baleful Edict cannot travel the Aldari webway. No, we cannot. I will need a tool to track them by their sickly psychic stench. Impractical. We possess no artifact capable of detecting such profane spiritual resonance. Are you so certain? A shard of wraith bone. Pride from the infinity circuit that incubated the very huh. evil we now face. Is that right? I can bind the bloom seeds to this vessel and hunt the foul reapers by their psychic scent. Corrupt energies. Xeno Archaeotech. Inquisitor, you stand on the precipice of <laughs> heresy. I, no, we stand on the precipice of victory, Ektar. Would you honestly prefer we defy the direct orders of your chapter, Lord? No, but I will be watching you, human. Spare me your preening, Knight. Once I forge this tool, a uh, Codex Toxicus, we'll fall upon these Reapers with the wrath of the God Emperor himself. The way she rephrases herself sometimes gives me sketchy vibes. And then the way she kind of seemed to be overcome with that seed... Gave me sketchy vibes. I'm getting sketchy vibes, is what I'm saying. The Baleful Edict is a large ship, Commander. And yet your presence is always here. 
The hollow map flickers with countless incursions. We have our work cut out for us. Yes, the bloom's already reached its new tendrils to the furthest reaches of the sector. Okay. The Avatar spoke of a Morbus. What do you know about it? Whatever it is, I believe it is dire. A tipping point the bloom will reach beyond any ability to contain it. So in XCOM terms, this is like the Avatar project, I'm thinking. You believe your tool, the Codex Toxicus, can stop this Morbus? No. I believe that I can stop this Morbus. Sure. The Codex is a tool to help us hunt down the Reapers, but it will be for you and your knights to destroy them. My brother Purifier distrusts you, should I? <laughs> Trust me or not, I serve the Imperium, same as you. Can't tell you what to think, there are some within the Ordo who possess the power to alter thoughts. Sadly, I can only rely on logic and my own superior skills of observation to construct a convincing case to guide your decisions. You obfuscate, the question remains, can you be trusted? My soul remains firm and always will. <sighs> Jesus, politician! You Astartes are designed to obey, to respect the chain of command. As an Inquisitor, I must always question the clue is in the title. That doesn't mean I'm any less loyal to the Golden Throne. Let's discuss something yes. else. let us not waste our time. This Cadex we encountered on Usaraya, it seems to know you. Give me a moment to scry my own memories. I fought countless warp spawn in my career. This one, though, yes, he did name me personally, did he not? Go on. Hush. Bakir. I said silence. Yes. I have what? encountered that creature before. Does she have an actual, like, Rolodex memory she needs to go to? Once he was a mortal, a transhuman at any rate, he fought during the Great Heresy, a captain of the Death Guard. To warrant such a presence, this is indeed a mighty undertaking of the Plague God. All right. How do you assess our progress? The war against the Bloom goes well. As expected, considering you're a brother of the Grey Knights, I've worked with Astartes before, and you've proven to be as ruthless and efficient as any I have witnessed. Let us hope this continues. All right. Enough for now. The bloom festers. Lunette. The edicts of machine spirits are silent. I await your input. Dominus, have you seen the Inquisitor of late? Since her return from the craft world, she has not left the Nebris. Hector believes she conceals herself to mask the failure. What do you believe? Emotional need for validation is for the unaugmented. Good answer. What I have determined is that the Inquisitor is a tenacious individual. Her seclusion is the most efficient way for her to process strategies against the Bloom. Box exchange parameters updated. On the craft world, you spoke of Lord Drago with familiarity. I have memory fragments of Carboa as a mere Justicar. He is and remains a credit to who you... To you, who are yet unaugmented. Okay, so you fought alongside him? I observed then that he was exceptional. Even among the Grey Knights. Long before he became Supreme Grand Master, Kaldor joined forces with the Edict against the heretic Prince Zurich, a self-proclaimed demon Magnus of the Dark Mechanium, who had been spreading forbidden technology. We conferred often in that campaign, and I observed then that he was exceptional even among the Grey Knights. How would he have handled the Bloom? Kaldor was one for handling a threat personally, often eschewing his faithful brothers in defiance of logic. But he was exceptional, touched by your emperor. We are not so blessed and must use more traditional dogma to overcome the scourge. Box exchange parameters updated. What's the status? Servitor reserves have reached critically low numbers. I evaluate to be free of viral contaminants with at least 87% confidence. Box exchange parameters up. Our window for communication has concluded. The halo of your Aegis is strong. Are you ready? <laughs> This plague has taken hold of the sector. We are burdened with a grave duty, Commander. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, you seeth, Brother Purifier, I can sense what it. What is that Emperor Damned Inquisitor unleashed? She should have pointed us in the direction of the infection and moved on to let us carry out our holy duty. Her interference has put this entire campaign at risk. Yeah, but the campaign goes on. Yes, and now all our strength will be necessary to extinguish this contagion, as you wish. We were fortunate that the Supreme Grand Master intervened in the craft world. Yes, we have been honored by Lord Drago's presence. He is trapped, doomed to wander the chaos wastes, but has been known to break it into real space when the Brotherhoods of Titan are imperiled. How did such a situation come to be? Kaldor Drago vanquished a demon prince when he was a mere battle brother, and the prince cursed huh. him in retribution. Some prognosticars believe the very same curse marked him for greatness. As a neophyte, we learned many tales of Lord Drago's victories. What you have heard is no exaggeration, but the truth. The previous Grand Master was struck down in battle by demon Primarch of the Death Guard Montarian, 
Drago was in the same conflict and immediately elevated to lead the chapter. His very first act was to swear vengeance. He sought out Mortarian alone, smashed aside the traitor's bodyguard, felled Mortarian, and carved his predecessor's name into the Primarch's diseased heart. Why did he not kill the traitor? It is now impossible to slay Nurgle's favored. I'd argue that Drago did far worse, an insult that will never heal. Mortarian has hated the Supreme Grandmaster and all Grey Knights ever since. So, it was the Primarch who found Drago to wander the Chaos Realm? No, that was the Demon Prince who cursed our Lord back at the very start of his career. Drago returned to Arcalum two centuries later, brought the reborn creature and was triumphant, but this fulfilled the terms of the Demon's curse laid long ago. In its death throes, he cast Drago into the warp, exiling him to roam the realm of chaos. That's cool. Yes, if you have impressed me thus far. Okay, great. Yes, go with the wisdom of Janus, brother. Good chat. All right, so we have Augmentation Chamber 2 coming in two days. Grandmaster's Response coming in eight days. Uh, a couple of healing things, the Tides of Escalation... And then a little bit more healing. Now, <laughs> uh, yeah, we need some prognosticars over here. And I guess for me to be chilling, why is this one purple? I guess these are the different seed colors now. Purple, red, blue. Huh. Okay, let's go somewhere central here. If we sit kind of towards the outskirts of our attuned systems, our attuned ones get a, a bonus to travel time or whatever, so. I feel like sitting somewhere around here is probably okay. Okay, so now we're, now we're stacking servitors big time. I only have three, unfortunately. Um, I do need to do Hall Integrity, which is eight. Do I have anything that's cheaper? Um, here's a prognosticar. Meditation chamber would be great. Okay. So essentially, no. I just need to wait till I get to eight. What now? New mutations. The threat is magnified, Inquisitor. I grow weary of your self-righteousness, Ektar. Ah, Commander. As predicted, the bloom is mutating. The colors New are those mutations, I guess. Now plague the sector. Five distinct strains. We have already encountered the bloom I've called Poxus, the strain of disease. Right. The infected do not perish, but are cursed with a blight that molders even into their minds. This one I name Mortus, the strain of death. This noxious mutation annihilates entire populations before tearing the dead from their graves. Here is the bloom necrosis, the strain of decay. It binds itself to all things living and mechanical, rotting all it touches. Here, we have the Bloom Dolorous, the strain of agony. It emits a compound that afflicts hysterical delusions and nightmarish torment on its sufferers. Last and most insidious, the Bloom Tentarus, the strain of growth. This malady corrupts the purity of the human form with powerful mutations. A corrupt gift from the Plague God. Your taxonomy has been enlightening, Inquisitor, but the bloom continues to spread as we dither in details. We must respond at once. I'm thinking those are also used for the upgrades because those are all of those exact same colors. We're getting four new missions now instead of three. I need the seeds intact for further study. Right. Each strain is spread by its own genus of seeds. We must collect a broad sample in order for my studies to progress. Advanced research projects require seeds to initiate. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
So, oh, these are all unlocked now. And it shows you how many seeds are required. Oh, some of them even use one of each. Extra stratagem slot there. Codex Toxicus. So that seems to be our next big research goal. We need one of each seed. Bloom Suppression, Bloom Suppression 2, Bloom Suppression 3. Escalation. This goes into... Oh, you can prevent a surge. You get a stratagem to prevent a surge. That's kind of neat. I guess. Right now, the surges haven't been too bad. There's a couple of nasty ones, but... Yeah. All Knights recover three willpower. Like, that might be even pretty good to snag, you know? Advance. Oh, extra seeds. Yeah, that's clutch. We're going to try and grab that next, I think. I imagine that one seed becomes just, yeah, we just get extra, I guess. So, cool. All right. That works for me. So now let's let's figure this out. Uh, this is not attuned. Uh, none of them are in. Okay, this one might be. Yeah, we have a prognosticar bonus there, but it's literally the furthest away. Um, okay, so these are the new. These are the yellow seeds. Win mission with no critical injuries. We get a grimoire. Oh, that's cool. Um, the armory access is not that great. Here is the purple seeds. Win mission without master crafted armor. I don't think I have master crafted armor, but I would like to. I would like to. I'm just trying to see if I can, like... Doesn't seem like I can move these. Yeah, I think once they're there, they're there. Okay. So we'll start here, come up here, and if there's time, we can try and hit that one too, right? Let's see why not. And now it looks like each of these kind of seed differences might be related to different enemies too. So I imagine if we go to a, a green seed place that we get those green enemies that we're used to. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, okay. Slow danger, I feel like we're probably fine. Eliminating seed carriers, that's good. We're definitely going to go for this with no critical injuries. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll save a little bit of time. It's been a super long episode, but we're going to take out some of our lower level guys, none of our injured dudes, and uh, I'll create something that makes what I think makes sense anyway. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really intense last couple missions. Loving it. See you next time. Bye for now.